Hey guys, it's Jan, also in a Zen Bluster, and uh, did you guys see that? That's my new splash screen. Um, isn't it awesome? The um, guys from mini4wheeldriverace.com made that for me. So in return, I'd like for you guys to check out the forum. So the forum is basically going to be an image archive of uh, tutorials, uh, discussions about mini four-wheel drive, and a place for free exchange of information, basically. It is an English forum since we're based in the states but uh, don't let that stop you from visiting at all so go to the forums and register and uh, tell them that you were sent there by Zen Bluster so the link will also be in the video description down below so go ahead and visit us and uh, say hello to me I'm also gonna be there so now on with the video hey guys it's Jan also known as Zen Bluster and today I'm gonna show you guys how to paint a marble paint job like this as you guys can see this one turned out pretty well this one was a sample that was um, shown um, to me by Mad Tang and he showed me how to do it so now I'm going to share with you guys how to do it basically um, first things first I'm gonna go ahead and start with the paint um, for the base coat basically for the um, translucent color this one was blue um, PS39 over there um, Today we're going to be using um, translucent red PS37. That's going to be the first coat that's going to show up. We're going to be using and these coats, these two paints, um, PS58 um, Pro Clear and the PS5 Black are going to be the colors that we're going to use for the marbling effect that's going to happen once we actually do um, do the uh, dunk basically in the water. You know, ice bath water basically or cold water and the um, PS48 semi-gloss anodized aluminum is going to be the color that we're going to use as an undercoat basically um, to make it to so the translucent pops and also the black is going to be used again specifically to make the black pop basically to make it even more uh, clear so those are the paints um, of course, you're going to pick your own body that you're going to use, but I'm going to be using the Astute Clear. Um, <clears throat> and the other tools or like materials that we're going to need are chopsticks. You can use chopsticks or barbecue skewers. Um, if you go to takeout, these are basically free and um, you don't have to pay for that. Um, paper cups, basically. Dixie paper cups that they don't have to be Dixie if you have Dixie you can use that Also as a side trivia, did you know that people collect Dixie cups? And um, Hold on. There's a couple of other stuff too the I use cotton swabs to dry out the inside So what I'm gonna do or you could also use um, tissue paper of course because after you dunk it in the bath, you want to dry out the water <clears throat> and separate the water from the paint that's going to stick onto the body, basically from the underside. And, of course, the ice bath. Um, um, ideally, what you want to do is uh, have zero degree water, basically. But the... Um, it's gonna be hard to do hard to, hard to do that zero degrees Celsius um, under normal circumstances. Here, it's gonna take you like you're gonna need to use like a refrigerator of some sort to be able to do that. But uh, I don't have that, so you have to use ice to cool down the water that you're gonna dump everything in. Basically, you just want it to be like cold enough so that it can so that it feels like it's um like stinging your hand basically when you dunk your fingers in so right now I've already had added the ice and um, I'm also melting some more um, ice packs so that it's colder so you can see on the edges it's already getting cool basically so first step is we are going to go clean the inside of the astute polycarbonate so we're gonna go do that now, okay, so there are many ways to clean the uh, polycarbonate body uh, shells that you can buy. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what I prefer doing. I prefer using uh, toothpaste because um, it doesn't leave uh, residue, basically, whenever you use it for cleaning. 
So the goal is just to clean the inside because uh, during manufacturing there's going to be some uh, what do you call it maybe film or like a little bit of chemicals that you just want to wash off so that to make sure that your paint is going to stick so cold water um, we're gonna use cold or cool doesn't have to be very cold um, just put a little bit on your fingertip yep basically that's a decent amount that you could use and um, start rubbing it in there and now this is where the cotton swabs come in if there's some nooks and crannies that you want to be able to reach um, just use what the, the tip of it a little bit and then use that to rub into ears that are hard to reach basically the edges and the corners that you want to get to like that most of the stuff that we're going to worry about is the main body of the astute so we don't really have to clean all of the other stuff but i'm just gonna use a little bit more to be able to clean the rest of this off as well okay now we're gonna go ahead and rinse it and we're gonna go ahead and um dry it off with a uh, towel you could also use um coffee filters to do this to dry off the um, polycarbonate body but um, since I don't have those and I'm not um, keen on spending too much more I am just gonna use this to dry off and if there's any little bit of um, <laughs> lint that comes across I'm actually just gonna go and use another um, cotton swab and dry off whatever's in there also just to make sure that there's um, nothing stuck in between certain some edges now that it is uh, sufficiently dry what I'm going to do is mask off the uh, canopies right here uh, basically from the inside so um, luckily the canopy sticker for the uh, for the astute polycarbonate is actually already plastic um, that's actually ideal for you to be able to use for um, this because uh, of course plastic is um, resistant to water and that's what we're going to be using to be able to create the uh, marbling later um, so i'm going to go ahead and uh, put the stickers for the canopy when you push in your stickers, what you want to do is um, not use your uh, basically fingertips. What you want to do is push in with um, the cotton swab and then push in from the edges to make sure that the paint or the water doesn't leak into the the canopy that you're um, the canopy section that you're actually covering. So just make sure you. Um, basically press on the edges of the sticker basically to force it down around the area that you're blocking now I've put the uh, canopy stickers on um, ideally what you want to use is uh, masking tape um, what you want to do is you want to cut these out normally and then place them over the uh, masking tape and then cut out the shape that you want for the canopy that's what I you know, normally what you want to do but luckily these are already um, um, plastic stickers basically that come with uh, this um, body set right here so you don't have to worry about that you could actually use these just fine um, now we're gonna go ahead and um, paint the the first layer basically the um, translucent red Okay, so the uh, first coat is going to be the uh, translucent red uh, PS37. So let's go ahead and rip that open. The plastic. Um, we're going to paint this in um, several coats. I learned yesterday that it's better for you to be able to control the paint. It goes slowly, basically, when you're painting. And uh, go on several coats and. Um, as you guys know me, I'm not really a more of a I'm not really a cosmetic uh, type of guy. 
so I prefer to go fast. But for the sake of demonstration, we are going to go slightly slower. So normally, I'm not really good at this stuff. I'm still going to show you guys because it's like um, not that hard. Um, basically, when you're painting, you want to go in bursts. You don't want it to clump, basically, like that. So, we're going to go slow. A little bit of the tip. So we're gonna do maybe one more coat. We're gonna let this dry. Okay, now for the important part. So we are going to be quickly moving through this. Um, spray your black. Onto your paper cup, basically. You want maybe a teaspoon's worth of, um, a little bit less of a teaspoon of um, paint. I'm gonna go quickly wipe that off. Go to Pearl Clear. The Pearl Clear is going to be really hard to see. It's gonna be white and milky, so that's it. About that much. And time to drop it. There you go. You guys see that? It's a pretty interesting mix of colors. Okay, quickly drop that in. Mix it, mix it, John. Mix it. I don't have much time, I have to actually quickly go and make the dip very quickly because it's going to clump almost right away, so... See, it's almost clumping. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dip. As you guys could see, this is already filming up around me. Check that out. I'll get rid of that. Because that'll actually form up around my gloves. And I don't really want that. Well, it's not that bad, honestly. It's, it's not that important. There you go. Alrighty then. 
we'll put this away now we're gonna go ahead and proceed to dry this uh, thing right here <laughs> So we're going to go dry it off with um, paper towel and check that out. See how the red and the black are going. Okay. So we're far from done. Basically, this is just, this is the dip. So we're going to go ahead and dry off the inside. We're going to use <coughs> tissue paper. Just be slow. Be careful not to um, wipe off the paint. <laughs> All of your hard work will basically just get ruined. Basically clump it up like that. Press it in and then go slow when you when you dab it. Okay, so next stop for the layer of paint is the uh, PS48 semi-gloss um, anodized um, aluminum. I'm going to go ahead and... Um Okay, slowly more and more is uh, coming through. I'll go ahead and um, wait a little bit more and then paint another layer after that. Okay, so now I've painted uh, two coats of the uh, anodized aluminum. We're just going to finish it off by sealing it with a black uh, PS5 right here. Okay, we're going to let that first uh, coat of black dry off and uh, move on to the next one. Okay, now that the, uh, the black undercoat has already been finished, we're going to go ahead and um, start to peel the outer layer, the outer uh, covering. So, as you can see, some of the black had actually gone over it. And now for the big reveal. There you go. Wow. Look at that. That looks like candy. Damn. Shit. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that's how you make the uh, marble uh, paint, basically, for the paint jobs for your cars. So actually, it wasn't that hard. It's You just have to be patient through each uh, step of the process so that it doesn't come out bad and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mad Tank for showing me how to do this now I can do this on my own I probably have uh, a couple of other cars that I want to go paint like this but um, you now this body's gonna go wait for the next car um, this is probably gonna be on another Super 2 and but what so that's it for the video and um, stay tuned for the next one
we're going to box this thing right here i wonder what's in there huh what do you guys think so if you guys would like to see more videos like this please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching go race